Why'd you do that? That's not accurate, but okay. Uh huh. Let's see. One moment. Sorry. You, and, and now I got somebody who was getting on my blog and demanding that I print my home address. Now I'm trying to figure out where they got my home address from. It's on. It's online, but I frankly didn't ask him. Uh huh. You know, from from what I'm seeing, you went and stuck your nose in there. You gave some information to Lenny, and now Lenny keeps coming after me with the information you gave him that he was too stupid to get on his own. Okay. And you went and fired off stuff behind my back. Behind your back? To deal with these I'm sorry. What, where do I have to? Them, okay, John, is there them. any wrongdoing involved? I'm fighting my own battles here, but how the hell... Did Jim get into it? So what, are, what are you concerned with, John? If there's nothing, if there's no wrongdoing with anything that's out there, what do you care? I'm concerned with establishing my dominance in the blogosphere in North Minneapolis over you, Jim, and you keep wanting to stick your nose into John, my territory. Go, John, go look at my blog. You tell me when the last time I updated anything. I'll tell you when it was. I know it's January. Why keep it up? Let's just delete the damn thing. Why? Huh? Why? Why not? <laughs> because, John, you like, I learned, I learned from the best. I learned from you. Because you said, you know what, oh, put information out yeah. there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm John. I an 800-pound gorilla. Remember that? Yeah, I sure I remember that. I found a girl about like being tweaked. Mm -hmm. Now I was willing to just sit and ignore it for a while, but now you went and you you stirred up a harness nest over here, and I got to deal with this bozo who keeps taking in the same breath your URL and my home address. I keeps posting them, but he's trying to put a goddamn hit out on me or something. Here I am writing about crackheads and prostitutes on corners putting their mug shots up, and I got this guy that keeps brandishing my home address, and what else is he brandishing? Your stupid URL. And where did it come from? Who stirred him up? It was you, Jim. Now, how do I feel about that when I have to bring my kid to my house? What has it got to do with your kid in your house? Huh? What does that have to do with your kid in your I house? I don't feel safe when I got some, I got some lunatic out there keeps trying to print my home address on the blogosphere. Well, you it's didn't seem to that. think twice about posting T.J. Waconia stuff on the blogosphere uh, with home addresses and, and thing is, names. The thing is, Jim, I'm dominant. I don't have to not be a hypocrite. So, I John, you're saying do as I it say, not dominant. as I do. Is that right? Huh? You're, well, I'm you're, dominant. I'm dominant over you, Jim. What's your point? Well, my point is, you went and, and, and stirred up Lenny, you stuck your nose with the North Minneapolis policy, and on your own initiative, you stuck your nose into my North Minneapolis politics. No, I stuck my nose into you North Minneapolis. Around about me. Okay, I didn't you spread it, John. The internet had it. In well, I have to ask you for permission to do anything, John. The information I got is online, not by me. You don't think it's gonna? You don't think it's gonna come to my attention? So what? John, you work out your differences by force, and I don't do huh? that. Your your idea of working out differences is by force, by I'm threat. Not force, and we bring ideas on the internet. <laughs> okay, well, so so what do you want to do then? I don't know. What are you offering me? I'm not offering you anything. I want to know what your deal is. Well, and I'm not the first yeah. person that's ever voiced a displeasure for I'm things that you write. But the thing is, you you stirring up. Turn up the water that you don't even understand. How you don't understand the politics up here. Worse for them. Players. One moment. They're trying to convince you to delete information about you that you don't like. And not to go talking to anybody else. Off. And, and I've got a lot more firepower where that's concerned, Jim. Firepower. Firepower. Fire. John, I'm Believe not. Me, there's a lot of loose ends that never got written about that could be written about if you fail. Go ahead. Then oh, go oh. ahead, John. But you certainly yeah. like you certainly like slamming people online and doesn't and you don't give any care. Wow, that's the freedom of speech, Jim. Right, even though it might destroy someone's life. Freedom of speech. Destroy somebody's life. You you clearly established yourself on the other side of the fence of the matter. Well, that's probably true. So I mean, as you say, only an idiot would try to go against you. I'm not going to try to convince you anymore of anything, John, because you don't want to be convinced. Fine. Okay. You just, you 
you just remember, Jim, that, that I am an 800-pound gorilla in the blogosphere. And if I start hearing that you're trying to stir shit up against me, then I'm just going to start shifting my big gorilla ass around for the fun of it. Okay. I've got a lot but, to build but, up my but, blog. But my point, John, is... And I can establish a powerful blog in North Minneapolis. And my point yeah. is, what damage could this gorilla do to me? Because... I don't know, Jim. 